the only team that can beat Harlingen is us, and that's it's no secret. What we look at it is if we beat this team, you know, from there we're just going to win, and bottom line, we're getting playoffs. I know they're very physical on defense, and we're trying to get to that, you know, on defense also, but I think we match up well with them. Do you really think you can match up well with them? Well, Harlingen tried to uh, prove the Hawks wrong when they're, with their midweek comments, and man, did they do it. They didn't even really need an offense. We're talking fumble return, then a punt return, then an interception return, and wow, the Cardinals went nuts. A 34-0 halftime lead. It goes on to be 69-7 to is your final, and uh, now the question is, Wow, what else can this Harlingen team do? Well, they obviously were upset about the Hawks' comments midweek that we can hang with this team, we can beat this team, we're, we're together with this team. I don't know. I had no problem. I didn't think it was trash talk. I didn't think it was bulletin board material, but obviously Manny Gomez disagreed with me, Greg. Well, you know, he's an expert in, in, in psychology, and that, that played right into his hands. Hey, you hear what they're saying about us? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know, man. I mean, if I'm south, on the other hand, what, what are you going to say? Oh, they're going to kill us, man. I mean, you know, so, I mean, you've you got to come out and be tough about it. And, it, you know, they didn't get it done, and so they paid the price. I mean, that's just the way the media works, you know. If you're going to talk, then you have to back it up. Yeah, and I mean, they didn't say anything that any coach wasn't saying, that their coaches weren't saying to them in the locker room. They were saying, you know, we can hang with this team. We can beat this team. That's what you have to say. Uh, your thoughts on it, Joe? Well, again, you have to say something if you got a microphone in front of you. And, you know, I'm like, Greg, what, what are you going to say? I don't think we can beat him. I don't think we can do this. They're just good. No, you come out there and you, you go with confidence and then you put your game on the field. Now you go back and you go to work, which obviously is what they've had to do the last couple of years. And uh, now the bulletin board material becomes on the south side. Are you tired of getting this done to you? Mm -hmm. What do you got to do in the offseason to get better? Yeah, that's uh, 144 points in two years, I believe, if my, uh, if my math is correct. Guys, uh, one more thing on the Bird Bowl. Interesting that uh, uh, when the Cardinals were scoring touchdowns, uh, you, can, you can see here on the left-hand side, uh, you know, after the rollover, it's the bow and the salute. And uh, we get to see that one more time here from Randy Bermea, who once again goes over 100 yards. The bow and the salute. I had almost looks coordinated uh, your thoughts Greg is it showboating or is it uh, you know just acknowledging the crowd for a big rivalry game can it be both because <laughs> I think that it is I mean obviously they planned it mm -hmm. they took it personally and they took it out on the south in the crowd uh, that kind of flies in the face of what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago though in terms of uh, you know the showboating or the rule designed to prohibit excessive individualism of course, you can argue that, that they all did it whenever they scored, and so many kids scored that it wasn't individualism, it was collectivism. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I, got, I, I mean, it's not like they were taunting the kids. It's not like they were taunting the crowd. They were saluting. They were bowing. Joe, was it a classy way to showboat? Well, I, it's, it's a creative way to showboat, I guess. You know, it's the first time I've seen that with the bow and the salute backed up. But, again, you know, definition. Showboat. Okay, well, let's go into what Harlingen's got next. And next up, it's PSJ North. This, this is the last team to beat Harlingen in a district play in, gosh, the regular season, okay? 2008, Halloween. Once again, we get back to that. What PSJ North was able to do against an Edinburgh offense that was beat up, but they were able to do it. 14-7 was the final. Greg, your thoughts on PSJ North now going into this game against Harlingen? Well, I think if anybody has a chance to beat them in that district right now, it's the Raiders. Uh, I think Bruce Bush should be considered uh, one of the coach of the year candidates right now because that team is 4-1 and one, and a lot of people were iffy as to whether they're going to be that good. Now, I don't think that there's going to be an indication of where their season is going to go if they don't beat Harlingen. But I would go for broke and see what happens because right now Harlingen is looking like they're not even going to be touched, all right, honestly, until the playoffs. But you never know, and that's a good football team. I love Austin Navarro as a two-way quarterback. Only thing that worries me is that, you know, he don't come off the field. So I hope that he's new. I hope he's on the exercise bike watching the show because he's going to need to be in shape. Good-looking kid, though, big. Yeah. Your thoughts, Joe, on PSJ North? Well, again, defensively, they come into this game at least saying that they held down an offense I, I, with a couple of guys injured. But defensively, they got to be able to say that's where we're going to have to try to stay in this game. They're not going to go into this game against Harlingen saying we're just going to flat out outscore this ball club. They've got to do something defensively. And coming off of this kind of a win, well, that's the momentum you may need to go into. All right. Let we are coming. You, Clay. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. No, are we out? Uh, you know, are we out? Are you done? <laughs> They need to look out. Harlem needs to look out for that dive. 
because the dive was working against Harlan. Right. See, the thing about Bush is, though, he knows that, they're, that they know the dive was working. He's going to run the pitch. He's going to throw off the pitch. He's going to have every little trick in the book come Friday night.